That girl's naked in our pool in three minutes. She's cute. Yeah. Woo! You must have a very comfortable boyfriend now. Yes, girlfriend. Comfortable girlfriend. The whole time I'm here, she's the army base trainer. You're never gonna meet her. This sucks. You think it sucks? I definitely had blazing insecurity. If you're happy, you have a good time. If you're not, you know it. This is the true story of seven strangers picked to live in paradise. Yay, yay. <laughs> Work together. Have their lives taped. To find out what happens when people stop being polite. They start getting real. Oh the real world. Hawaii. I just, I, I like her energy. I think she's just very sweet. You know, your skin is so soft. I mean, you were shaking my head tonight, and it was like so soft. I never felt like soft hands like that before. It's much better, baby boy. Can't be a thing. <laughs> If I snore, just throw me out of bed. <laughs> I'll go back to my bed. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good night. There are roommates in this house who have a magnetic attraction to one another. I feel like I have to prove my intelligence and my self-worth to these people. Absolutely. I have an idea to you guys. I know you guys are going to jump on me for this one, but every every Monday night, fraternities and sororities have meetings. You go up and you can say, hi, we have this promotion going on down at Locomotion. They do club promotions from fratern at fraternities and sororities all the time, and people get their places packed. So, I mean, sorry for sounding like a sorority chick, but that's a really... We definitely, we <laughs> yeah. The other thing is there's a lot of coffee shops around UH and that's It really makes me very uncomfortable when I am known as a stereotype. I hate it. I have a lot of experience in it, but I don't know. I don't think anybody really cares. Okay, back to my idea, which I was really annoyed that my idea was cut off, but <laughs> fraternities and sororities are the way to go. If you go to a fraternity or sorority, you have the entire the attention of the entire house because they have to stop eating, look up at you, and listen to everything you're saying. Like all the sorority girls, I know their etiquette's better than fraternities, but they stop eating, they clap for you, everybody's silent, they listen to you saying stuff. How sweet. And they clap. Forget it. There's no question what you're talking about in this poem. There's so many layers of depth to this that it's, it's good. I'm getting to know some people here a little better than others. That level of living where like life is just like taken to the nth degree all the time is what I want. I don't want to sit back and just be like, wow, that's very pretty over there. <sighs> One of the people that I do really enjoy having conversations with is Kaya. You know how they say the eyes are the windows to your soul? Yes. It totally is. It is. And everyone I've ever loved or been very close to in my life has said that very same thing to me. Really? Yes. Yeah. I see it in your eyes, too. I feel very open to everything right now. It's like very refreshing for me. Like I can let loose in ways I never did before. When you say things sometimes, I'm like, God, that's exactly how I feel. I love the way you think. 
and I love the way you talk, and I like listening to your stories. <laughs> it makes me feel really good to hear that. I already admired you anyway, because I already think you're amazing. Thanks, Billy. <laughs> and that's why I'm just like in awe right now, because I know there's more. <laughs> Feeling in my element, being surrounded by people and music, and just feeling like a villain. When I'm on the dance floor, I just feel like a sexy queen. Kaya and Ruthie have a deep-rooted interest in each other, and the fact that they were drinking brings out this internal desire. I really miss my girlfriend, but I know that she'd be happy that I was having a lot of fun. I never assume that I'm possibly out of control, but at this point I definitely am. <laughs> Next thing I know, Ruthie's kissing me. Oh my god! Snapping pictures. Where am I? Do it again. No place like home. There's no place like home. Bro, day. Bro, day. Bro, day. Bro, day. I don't ever really think I'm bisexual or heterosexual or homosexual. I just, I, I, I consider myself just very free. What happened in that van makes living here so much more exciting. Dude, they were making out in the back of the booth. <laughs> Dude, that was just, there's nothing that compares. To oh, it, oh my god. I'm so glad Tech was there because Tech's just like, oh, I don't want this thing to make sure. Tech's shooting and I'm going, take one for me. Take one for me. And then you're like, me too. <laughs> Dude, I cannot wait to see those pictures. <laughs> I'm actually supposed to be at class right now, but I was sleeping. I'm being a bad girl. <laughs> I'll tell you what last night reminded me. Last night reminded me of my worst nightmare, which is like being this far away from being totally out of control and having no one give. Like, they were so excited by us kissing, it was ridiculous. Ruth was like, way too bad. I would attribute our experience greatly to the alcohol. I, uh, I think I wanted to. Definitely the girly girl in the house. <laughs> Watch out, everybody below. Bye. Oh, my God, what's she doing to that board? Oh. oh. Yeah, they were laughing.
happy place. They're like, oh. go home. So it wasn't successful at all? Um, it was a successful walk. I like it. It, was good. it was good for Amaya. She had a nice yeah. walk. It was nice that Amaya ruined one of our surfboards. <laughs> frustrated that these people don't know me yet and that I don't know them. I don't know where Amaya's head is at, but uh, I do know that Amaya's been through a lot. I just miss my friends, like, like hardcore. They're the people that respect me and they're the people that know me. Yeah. And it's really... Hard. And you think that people only know certain aspects of you and that's why they disrespect you because they don't know about all you. And the thing is like, you can't expect everybody to know everything about you, but we're going to learn more about you. You know what I mean? Every day, I think there's a lot of judgment that goes around the house sometimes. And you know, I'm kind of guilty of it too. Since the fact that you're in a sorority, I guess you're, like, you're under a stereotype and everything. But I know that there's more to you than that. You know what I mean? I'm just so nervous every single second of every day. I seriously have not been able to really be myself at all yet. So, well, it'll come. In a new place, you're always anxious and nervous. We're only human, you know? You'll feel comfortable in time. Just don't worry about it so much. Pictures. <laughs> in the van? There was a kiss in the van? I should remember it. <laughs> Maybe I had a little bit too much to drink, but this is all new to me. You think I'd remember something like that? <laughs> My girlfriend's gonna kill me. I don't remember. That's wrong. I, I, I was in shock. I found out I kissed you in the van. I don't remember that. I don't remember. She thinks I'm lying. She thinks I'm making it up, but I'm confiding in her right now because I really don't remember. Promise to God. Well, let's, let's see the acting skills. Acting skills? I have no acting skills. Are you laughing at me? I don't want you guys to like ragging for it, so I'll pick your asses. I'm not ragging you for it. I just have a I swear to God, I'll get pissed off, but I do not remember. Not at all. It, was, it wasn't even just a kiss. I mean, you guys broke no. and then went back and broke and like went back. No way. It was a makeout session. It was a makeout session. All I have to say is, was it good? <laughs> If you could kiss me for that long, it must have been good. It was funny to think that I could do something that and not remember. I don't think it's funny. I'm so sorry. For what? For kissing you. I like it. And I remember it. Ruthie. She must say she really annoyed me last night. <laughs> Thank you. Would you have like kissed me if you weren't drunk? And I was like, no. She's like, see, that's what upsets me most. You wouldn't have kissed me if you weren't drunk. I'm like, you didn't even remember. I know, I know, I know. If I know, you I know. weren't drunk, I mean, does that make any sense? No. It really has nothing to do with me, and that's why I feel insulted. I also like, can't believe that she can't remember at all. Like, see, I don't believe it. If she doesn't remember, a lot of that is because she doesn't want to remember. We sit here and listen to her every day think how much she misses her girlfriend. I've seen this before so much, like someone who really wants to love someone with all their heart and like doesn't want to hurt this woman, right? Yeah. But is denying herself herself. As long as she's drunk enough and as long as she denies it enough, like she'll push it far enough away that she can do whatever she wants and get away with it. She doesn't have a clue what's going on here. So that's why I'm writing her. <laughs> I want to send this priority mail. I don't want her to find out later, you know? I want to be the first one to tell her. 
she's cheated on her girlfriend, one she loves dearly, and she knows she's made a, a big, drastic mistake. It scares me that she could do something that you don't want to do, but you do it anyway. I don't know what she's going to say. I hope she's not too upset. <laughs> I mean, she's going to be upset, let's be honest. She's going to be upset, but my feeling is that she will and should give you a chance. But then after that, like the ball's in your court. I want to say that I've been really, really kind of frustrated. I don't know, I've just been very uncomfortable here. And just very unhappy. The homesick issues still haven't gone away. Um, I don't know. I just feel weird. And I think it's just because I'm out of my element. Are you are you feeling not acknowledged? Is that is that what it comes down to? Not acknowledged as a person. I'm a very good friend to the friends that I have. And I'd like to be friends with all you guys. Okay. I don't want to sound insensitive. Because I love you. I do. Yeah. This ain't day count. I know you're homesick and everything. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I'm not trying to be insensitive. I'm just trying to give you the real deal. You know what I mean? I know you like yeah, out of your element because I feel out of my element too. I'm not adjusted at all. You know what I'm saying? But you got to deal with it, baby. You got to like move on. I I just want to say like some people are more sensitive than others and you seem like you are a really sensitive person and lots of comments uh, really get to you that maybe wouldn't get to someone with thicker skin. Um, and I think I need to do a better job of maybe not making comments that offend you. Just being homesick and missing people isn't going to go away, and I think everybody here misses people. But I don't think people have formed fine lines that you can't cross with friendships. Colin, it's the banana bread I hid from you yesterday. Do you want some? Are you going to pack no. it in a lunch? You want some? I can feel it. More and more, I'm liking the time I spend with Amaya when I'm alone with her. I just have a really good feeling. I like spending time with her. Hey, come here. Let's get a picture taken of us. I think I definitely want to start going out into different places with her more often. Oh, look at that water. Look at the I think Colin's attitude and his little cockiness intrigues me. I'm very drawn to mystery and brattiness. No idea. There's a fair amount of innocent flirting going on. We do our fair share of cuddling, yeah, but that's where it ends. Cuddling and flirting. Yes! Hi! Oh my god, Dave, I miss you so much. Are you being good? Something happened, that's why I wrote you a letter. Uh-oh. Um, I kissed one of my roommates and I didn't know, so as soon as I found out, I wrote you like a six-page letter. <laughs> and, okay. babe, do you want to know? Um, babe, it's not going to happen again. But I just wanted to tell you that. Is that cool? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't plan on doing anything like that again, but I hope that you don't do something to spite me. No, no, I'm not mad. Baby, I'm not mad. I don't, that doesn't mean, you know, you can do it again, but I'm not mad, you know? She's not mad. And so I'm kind of relieved. Take a deep breath. <laughs> I'm the last one on the phone. I gotta go. Okay, baby. I love you. I love you, too. Mom, mom, mom. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, that's just right now. There are many different facets to the house, and two of them are over there. And 
I know exactly what's running through both of their minds. There are days I don't trust anybody really but myself. Because when you love somebody and you tell them everything, you're automatically vulnerable. That's my big fear. I never show my cards, but I do with Jess. Like, I trust her enough that she won't do it in my face, you know what I mean? I wish that Ruthie and Kaya would kiss again in the back of the booth. Yeah. I mean, nothing would surprise me at this point.